I love you. Oh, Lord, my strength, 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 the Lord is my pillar and my fortress, my deliverer, my God and my rock. The Lord is my pillar, my fortress, my deliverer, my God and my rock. In whom I take refuge. I have to stop and just tell y'all this morning. At 645 this morning, my entire house shook like it was an earthquake or a bomb or something went off. And I looked on my ring camera and I looked out the door and I was like, God, what just happened? Then all of a sudden you heard saw all these people saying, what just happened? What just happened? Does anybody know what happened? Did anybody feel that? A house not even 10 minutes from me blew up. Somebody died this morning. And all I could say was, God, you are my refuge. And all I could say was, God, I hope they were saved. We don't know the next moment when something's going to happen. But God, he, oh my God. He protected me. It wasn't 10 minutes. I mean, I literally felt it. Somebody said they felt it all the way in Towson. That shake, my entire, I'm like, I'm going to have my house examined because my, the entire thing shook. Like, I, it's got to be something that happened to the, to the foundation. That's how heavy that shake was. But something blew up 10 minutes from my house. The Lord is my pillar, my fortress. My deliverer, my God, my rock. The Lord is my pillar, my fortress, my deliverer, my God and my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my house tower. He is my house tower. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Come on. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy who is worthy to be praised. I will call on, I will the, name. Call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Who is worthy to be praised. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Who is worthy to be praised. I will call I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy who is worthy to on, be praised. I will, I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Who is worthy to be praised? I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Who is worthy to be praised? I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Come on, who is worthy to be praised? I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy, who is worthy to be praised. Come on, I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy, who is worthy to be praised. I will, I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy, who is worthy to be praised. I will call on the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Come on, 
name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? 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 I will call on the name of the Lord. 
ready to be blessed. I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be blessed? 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 Who is ready to be blessed? Who is ready to be blessed? Who is ready to be blessed? I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is ready to be blessed? Thank you. 
Yes, 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 yes. Father, I thank you. Yahweh, El Shaddai, Elohim, Adonai, the great I am that you have. Yes, yes, is worthy, is worthy to be praised, is worthy of our praise. Oh, if I were you, I would praise him. Praise him, church. Come on, church. Praise him. Praise him. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy. Hallelujah. not finish. I said we're not finish. If you know what God instructed you, just a few minutes ago, maybe this morning, you don't know. If you know, you will praise him more than this. I'm telling you. I'm about to tell you. God told me that the old vision from this ministry has been eradicated. You don't know. No, you don't know. The old is gone. God instructed me to declare a new season. For the new season has come. We are in a new season. We cross over. To new season. The old is gone. That's what I said. If you know. Come on, let's praise him for three more minutes. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. Holy Ghost. Praise him. New season. It's your time. It's your season. Pata poko patala. Mate te po shapaye. We've crossed over. Yes, yes, present.
Yes. 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 Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Your new season has started. Your new has started. Your new season has started. I declare it in the name of Jesus. I declare it in the name of Jesus. You are in the new. The new. Ayakataba. Yes. 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 I prophesy new. I prophesy new. I prophesy new. The old cycle is broken. Break the old cycle. I break the old cycle. All cycle of sickness. All cycle of diseases. I break it in Jesus' name. All cycle of lack. I break it in Jesus' name. Move into your new. Dance into your new. Dance into your new. Dance into your new. Move into your new. Cross into your new. Yes. Yes. Cross. Cross into your new. I break the old cycle. I break the old cycle. I break the old cycle. In the name of Jesus. Break the old cycle. Break it. Break it. Break it. Lata Kaposha. Oh, bless him. Come on, somebody bless him. Oh, come on, somebody. Come, come on, on, somebody exalt his name. Come on. Come on, bless his holy name. Right. Call his name. Yes. Call his name. Yes. His name is Yahweh. His name is El Shaddai. Hello, him. Adonai. Hey, go ahead. Great God. Oh. Jehovah Sikeno. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah yes. Hello him. Yes. He was, he is, yes. and he is to come. Jehovah yes. Jireh. Jehovah yes. Jireh yes. is going to provide for you. Jehovah yes. Hello him. Jehovah yes. Adonai. Jehovah yes. Rapha. Yes. Be healed in Jesus' oh, name. God. Be healed in Jesus' yes. name. El Shaddai. All sufficient. Hey, shall I? Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take your new blessing. Take your new anointing. Pass it, break it. Pass it, take it, poke, poke, poke. Pass it, get it. Enter the new. Enter the new. Enter the new. Enter the new. Yes. 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 Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Pataka Pashebe. Hey, hey. Oh, I got back up. Jehovah Jireh just entered. <laughs> change has come. That's it. I said, change has come. That's it. A great season is set before yes. you. A great season is set before you. Year of manifestation. Yes, sir. Years of manifestation, yes, sir. sir. Take it. Take it. And yes. enjoy it. Take it. 
Passé que poco. Marte que poca. Laisse que te pépé. Aha. 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 I will bless the Lord. Oh, the glory is here. I will bless the Lord. The glory is here. I will bless the Lord. Yes. The glory. Yes, 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 God has started. Come on, lift up your hands and begin to talk to God. Start by worshiping him. Tell him how good he is. Begin to thank him. Begin to bless him. This is a great season, I'm telling you. The Lord spoke it. He said, you have entered. Declare a new season in this ministry. A new season come with a new dimension. A new season come with blessing. Come on, let's begin to worship him and begin to thank God. It is his doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. Come on, begin to worship him. 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 We've entered the cloud. <laughs> the glory, the cloud of glory is here. The cloud of glory. Mighty God, we thank you. We bless you. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. Be begin to call him by his name. His name is Jehovah Shalom. His name is Jehovah Yahweh. His name is Jehovah El Shaddai. Hello him. The God that was, he is, and he is to come. He was, he is, and he is to come. There's no one like him. There's no one like our God. He's great. Hallelujah. He is eternal God. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. Begin to talk to him. 
how good he is. Tell him who he is. He wants to hear from you. This good God, this great God, is coming in the cloud. Great mama. All the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the night tonight. And I couldn't earn it, but I don't deserve it. But still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Yeah. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, running after me. Yes, 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 yes. There's no wall you won't take down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. I want to tell you that no shadow he won't light up, mountain he won't climb up, coming after you. So what he won't pick down, that's how much he won't be coming after me. No shadow he won't light up, no shadow he won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't get down. Coming out to me. No shadow you won't light up. No shadow you won't light up. How can you won't climb up? Coming out to me. No more, you won't kick down. No more, you won't kick down. How you won't tear down. Coming out to me. No shadow you won't light up. No shadow you won't light up. How can you won't climb up? Coming out to me. No more, you won't kick down. No more, you won't kick down. your holy name. We bless your holy name. In Jesus name. Come on church. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus name. In Jesus. You may be seated. I'm going to share for a few minutes. I didn't come to really teach, teach, teach today. The Lord told me to make prophetic declaration over your life, over this ministry. A new season, a new chapter has been opened. Amos 3 9 tell us that the Lord does nothing before first of all revealed. 
the prophet and his servants what is done. I'm just going to read the scripture. I'm also going to declare some things as I read. The new season, just receive it, believe it. You will see the shift as it started. We have good time. God moves in times and he moves in season. That's why God gave us time. He gave us what? Time to fulfill his purpose on the earth. That's why the Bible also tells us, redeem the time. Don't waste time. Redeem the time. Because the days are evil. We are living in a time, if you don't move by the spirit, in the timing of God, in the chronos and the kairos moment of God. Kairos and the chrono. Chronological cycle of God. You're going to miss God. But I pray you will not miss God in Jesus' name. I say you will not miss God in Jesus' name. In Isaiah 60, verse 1. He said, Arise! Come on. Shine! For your light has come. Arise! Regardless what was going on before. Regardless of what you're going through right now. Regardless of what you see happening in America and all over the world, I'm prophesying over you today according to the word of God. Arise! Arise from your discouragement. Arise from your stress. Arise from your pain. Arise from your failure. Arise from your depression or discouragement of whatever it is that has been holding you bound. Arise. That was a prophetic word. The first thing God said, arise. It has to do not passive but active. Then say, shine. I declare in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name, that you will arise in the name of Jesus. You will arise from pain. You will arise from failure. You will arise from even criticisms. You will arise from stress. You will arise from sicknesses. You will arise from diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's our time to try. It's your time to shine. It's the time to possess. It's the time to occupy. It's a time for expansion. Come on, tell your neighbor, arise and shine. Arise and shine. I prophesy you will arise. Because if you don't arise, you cannot shine. But you will arise. I say you will arise. I say you will arise. In the name of Jesus, you will arise. I'm speaking to your spirit. I say you will arise in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare you will shine. Then he continued. He said, for your light has come. For your light has come. I declare new season in this ministry in the name of Jesus. I declare new times in this ministry in the name of Jesus. I eradicate and I break the old cycle. We can't enter the new if we're still in the old. The old cycle has to be broken. Every old cycle that is holding you bound in the name of Jesus by the power of the bloodshed by the authority of the cross, by the finished work of the cross, I break that cycle in the name of Jesus Christ. Any cycle that want to hold you bound not to arise, I cross it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will arise 
from the season of not enough to the season of overflow. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I say you will arise from the season of just enough and to the season of the overflow. I declare in this new season you will experience abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will bless you until it is full and it begins to overflow. If it's not overflowing, God ain't finished. <laughs> I declare in the name of Jesus that in this season, God will fill your cup until it overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ. David said, he anointed my head with oil. And my cup, you will experience overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, somebody shout amen. I say somebody shout amen. God is a God of season and time. The Lord God Jehovah is the God of times and is the God of season. And he has ordained all things before the foundation of the world. Things for God does not happen by accident. It's already been ordained. Let's go to Ecclesiastic 3 1. He said, For everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Everything under the heaven goes through times and also season. And God told me that the old season has been eradicated. Old season of struggle has been eradicated. Old season of lack has been eradicated. It's old season of sicknesses has been eradicated. If you shout amen, that means you are in agreement with me. And it shall be so in the name of Jesus. I say it shall be so in the name of Jesus. We are in a new season. I receive it. A season of expansion. A season of abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. To everything. There is a season. And a time. To every purpose. Under the sun. Under the heaven. Your trials. Tribulation. They have an expiration date. Your struggle and the attack of the enemy, they got an expiration date. And today is that day. I said, Today is that day. It is expired. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me do quick. God, we're going to praise God again. Daniel 2 21. And it changes the time. And the season. God changes the time. And the season. God is able to change the season of sorrow. The season of pain. And bring you to a season of abundance. Because he is God. He's able to change it. And God has changed it. That is said. Changes the time and the season. He removes kings and set up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Our God is in control. I say God is in control of your life. The devil is not in control. The enemy is not in control. But God is in control of your life. God is in control of my life. God changed my time and my season. Amen. Now, time to move swiftly again. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord have risen upon you. The first thing that happened when light comes. 
that means you are also in a season of divine visitation. It's a season of divine visitation because your light has come. If your light comes, what do we do? You'll be ready and willing to take a step. And that's why the Bible, the first thing he said, he said, Arise! For your light has come. This is the time of manifestation. This is the time that God wants to give you all the promises that he has spoken over your life. Now, what do we expect in this time? What should we expect when our light comes? In the time of our visitation. Number one, expect abundance and enlargement. Abundance and enlargement. Moving from the season of not enough, moving from the season of just enough to the season of more than enough. Expect abundance and enlargement. This year is a year of manifestation. Every area you've been struggling, you won't struggle there anymore. Every area you've been having hardship, there's no more hardship in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says your light has come. And the glory of the Lord have risen upon you. Sometimes we go through a season of struggling, season of hardship. We work so hard, but we can account for a little. I mean, been that season before. You work so hard and so hard, some cannot even account for nothing. We labor and we pray. Things are not moving. But I declare over you, you have entered a season of abundance and a season of enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Things that have been difficult will be made simple for you. Every area you've been struggling, things will begin to happen. Some blessing will come that you didn't ask for. Blessing will begin to look for you. Before you are looking, nothing happened. Before you pray, nothing happened. Before you fasted, nothing happened. Before you prayed, nothing happened. From today on, I prophesy. I'm here to deal with the stuff in the spirit. Don't take this lightly. Don't take this lightly. I'm here to declare to do every stone, every blockage that has been stopping, stopping you for abundance and enlargement. I command it by the power of God to run away. To run away in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way when Jesus was put in a tomb after crucifixion, Mary and Martha were going to the stone, to the tomb, to anoint. They were saying, Who we run away the stone. But what they didn't know, the rock of ages, the rock of ages, and his name is Jesus, is in the tomb. He doesn't need the rock to come out. He does not think I'm blocking. They put the stone there. Oh, you, you, you miss it. You miss it. The stone was there so that nobody can come in and take the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Mary and Martha were going early morning on Sunday. Because it's a cross tomb in Israel. When somebody dies, you go there and you anoint. It's a sign of respect. So they were going, but they realized on Friday, a big stone was put there to secure the tomb. So nobody will be able to take the body. So, but what they don't understand, Jesus, the resurrected king, 
the king of kings, the lord of lords, are translated from mortal body to immortal body. Even though there was a stone, the stone could not stop him. Because now he has a glorious body. Even Jesus has to move from season. Season of mortal to season of immortal. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? He has to move. He has to change the season. Even though the enemy thought to kill him. Their intention is to destroy his destiny. Their intention is to kill him. But really, they kill the flesh. But they didn't kill the resurrection one. Because Jesus said, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. The resurrection and the life. Yes. I am the life and resurrection. So they were going. And their thought was, wow. How can we anoint his body? The stone is there. The Bible makes us understand that God sent down an angel that rolled away the stone. Every stone in front of you don't want you to get to your destiny. Don't want you to fulfill your purpose. Let the angels of the Lord remove those stones in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Every stone between you and your breakthrough, let the angels of the Lord remove them in the name of Jesus. Remove the stone in the name of Jesus. Remove the stone in the name of Jesus. Remove the stone in the name of Jesus. Because your light has come. But my point is, even though there was a storm, Mary and Martha were still going. They didn't stay home and said there was a storm. They start moving toward the storm. They start moving to the position of their breakthrough. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving to your destiny. Start moving to where to possess your destiny. Before every storm must go. Every obstacle must go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because your light has come. Your season has changed. Your season has changed. It's a season of abundance. In Jesus' name. Some have worked so hard, but can only account for little. Let's go to Luke 5. 1 to 5. I want you to hear this. How Peter sees him changed. Sees him from struggling. So it was as a multitude as a multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that is too by the lake of Genesaret and so to both standing by that lake for the fishermen has gone from them and they were washing their nets. The fishermen have gone to fish. And they came back. It was the end of the day for them. They were washing their nets of their nets. Then he got into the boat, which was Simon. There were two boats. He didn't get into the other one. But he got into what? Peter and Simon. Why? Because Peter and Simon's light has come. 
He didn't enter the other one. He didn't know who the other one was anyways. Some things will begin to happen to you that don't happen to your companion. It's going to begin to happen to you. It didn't happen to your companion. You are working together with them. You are working hard together with them. But because your light has come, Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus has entered your house. Hallelujah. They were two. They were watching their name. The days was already over for them. They've taught all night. I studied the word taught all night. Peter was saying, I worked so hard all night. I didn't even rest. There was no break. I walk and I walk and I walk and I walk and I'm still walking. But yet, there was no fish. But listen, there was no fish. Because at that time, the light of the world is not yet there. Their light has not yet come. I said to myself, there were two boats. But Jesus told Simon and asked him to put down a little from the land. And he sat down and turned the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets to catch a fish. One thing I need to tell you about fishing, I need to teach you about it. At the shore, there are no fish. To catch fish and big fish, you have to go where? Deep sea. Peter has gone where? Deep sea. Peter has saw all night. He has walked all night. Deep sea. Now they are the shore. And mind you, he used the word professional. Peter, that was his profession. That's what he does. He knew that there's no fish at the shore. Because they were at the shore. They were watching their net. They were too poor. Jesus decided to go into water. Jesus will come to your house. Jesus will stay in your house. Jesus will come to your business. Jesus will come into your house. He will choose your house in the neighborhood to come. He will come to your house to fellowship. When he enter your house, everything must change. <laughs> everything got to change. Because your light has come. Say, my light has come. My light has come. My light has come. My light has come. Your house is going to stand out in the neighborhood. Miracle will begin to happen in your life. In your house will begin to happen. Healing will begin to happen. Miracle will begin to happen. Abundance in your house. He only chose Peter. chosen generation. You are a chosen one. You have ordained for breakthrough starting from today. I say starting from today. Starting from today. Because the Bible says we shall declare a thing and it shall be established. As I declare you say amen, it is established. I say it is established in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, when to touch and agree concerning anything, I will do it for them. But watch this. He stopped speaking. He said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets. Nets for a cash. See how Peter answered. 
But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have thought all night and caught nothing. Nothing. But Peter was so smart. Peter was a professional man, a professional fisherman. He knew that you don't fish at the shore. He knew you had to go into the deep to catch fish. And really, when a professional fisherman tells you, there's no fish, listen to me, there's no fish. Say there's no fish, there's no fish. Not to even talk about the shore, not the deep sea. But there's something Peter did that I've learned. I have learned from a lot from Jesus. Everything that I know, I learned from Peter. He didn't run for that minute. Are you still there? He didn't rush and begin to say, Peter, throw your name. There's something he did. What did he do? He began to preach the gospel. Because of the authority in his mouth, even though there was no fish, he didn't even say fish talk, but the fish and the fishes and the snapper. And tilapia and shark. Let's snapper. Come on, name it. Every fish that you know. Eh? Oh, the big one, Alakwa fish, rock fish, salmon fish, eh? steak fish. There's a steak fish, tuna fish. Come on, call it, call it. Eh? My mind, call it, call it, church, call it. He didn't call them, but the fish recognized the creator. He is the creator. They heard his voice. They hear him speaking. He is the creator. You have to obey the creator. You have to respond to the creator. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel an anointing of abundance. I feel an anointing of increase. I feel an anointing of multiplication. Oh my God. They heard the gospel. They heard it from Jesus. Jesus is the creator. Everything was created by him. Nothing was created that was not created by Jesus. He is the creator. If there's no fish, when Jesus showed up, every fish... From Red Sea, from Black Sea, from South Sea, from Pacific Sea, from Atlantic Sea, all the sea that you know about, they begin to come toward Jesus because the Master is there. Oh God. I hear this. I hear this. I hear this. Those things that have not been working for you, it's not working for you from today on. Even though you don't make sense. Even though they don't do it like that. Because your light has come. Say my light has come. My light has come. My light has come. Those things that are not supposed to work will begin to work for you. Those things you have done that didn't work for you. Starting from today, it will begin to work for you. It will begin to work for you. And then every opportunity that you've lost, they're going to call you. Get ready for phone call. Get ready for phone call. I declare it in the name of Jesus. And somebody shall hear. Yeah. 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 Say it's going to work for me. From today on, it will work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even God will give you some instruction. So that instruction will make sense. 
They don't do it like that. The professional don't do it like that. Peter was a professional man. That's why he told Jesus, we've taught all night. I know there's no fish. I've taught in the deep sea. There were no fish. But you tell me, at the shore, at the shallow end, at the shallow end, somebody open your door and let Jesus come in. Open your door and let Jesus come in. Things have changed because your light has come. But listen, but listen, listen. You see, but Simon answered. He what? Master, we have gone all night. Hours and days and months that you have lost, it shall be restored back to you. It shall be restored back to you. It shall be restored back to you. In the name of Jesus, it shall be restored back to you. It shall be restored back to you. It shall be restored back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a thing we've done. We've worked. We've worked. We've lost time. Peter lost time at work. The Bible didn't tell us if it's eight hours he worked or twelve hours, but they say all oh, night. Nice. There was no fish. He was busy serving. All you need to do is to obey the master. Obey. What do you do? He said, Master. Nevertheless, at your word, <laughs> at your word, nevertheless, he's telling Jesus, I am a professional fisherman. I know there's no fish, but because you say so, I'm going to do it. Even though it don't make sense. Even though we don't do it like this. Even though we don't do it like that. I was not taught to do it like that. But because you speak. Nevertheless, at your word. Years ago, I was at Rana Bonke conference. He was preaching. Pass manager. Evangelist. And he said, Pastor Michael, what do you say? He just came and said, Jesus, I mean, Peter did not walk on the water. The whole congregation just kept quiet. They say it did not walk on the water. Everybody just quiet. We read it in the Bible. They say he walked walk on the water. But you know what they say? He didn't walk on the water. He walked on the word of God. He walked on the word of God. He walked on the word of the master. Because Peter knew, he knew, guess what? That a man does not walk on the water. Man does not walk on the water. It don't make sense. If you try, don't try and walk on the deep end. You're going to sink. You're going down in the bottom. He knew Peter was a fisher man. He lived on the water. He know man don't walk on the water. You know what he told Jesus? At your at your yeah, he said, nevertheless, even though I thought all night at the deep end and there was no fish. I'm a professional fisherman. There was no fish. Because he said, nevertheless, I know it don't make sense. Nevertheless, if Jesus tells you to get up me now and begin to pray for your breakthrough, get up, get up and pray. Don't say, nevertheless. Say, Master, I'm supposed to be sleeping. But nevertheless, I'm going to get up and I'm going to begin to pray. Nevertheless, at your word. Nevertheless, 
at your instruction. He walked on the water. And Jesus said, he said, command me to come as when and study the word come. In Greek, what does that mean? Some of you, God is about to command you. Jesus is about to give you some instruction that will change your destiny. That will take you to another level. And that instruction will change your zip code. I'm going to, st- I'm going to stop. He said, nevertheless, add your word. I will lay down the word. I will lay down the word. Let them what? What did Jesus tell him to do? Prepare for your major breakthrough. Prepare for your multiple breakthrough. Peter was not ready for this season. He was not ready. He was not ready. We used to do the way things we need to do. Just one, them, just get one. One just sufficient for the day. But Jesus told him, can we go to verse 4? Quick, verse 4. So when he stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Simon, launch out into the deep. Let down your what? Let down for what? The breakthrough that is coming. You got to be ready. He was not ready for that. He was not expecting major breakthrough. He's so used to just enough season. Oh, I'm talking to somebody here. I say, I'm talking to somebody here. He's so used to just enough. Just enough. But this new season, you move into the season of more than enough. You better be ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready for that season. Prepare for that season. Watch this and, and I will finish. I will let down the net. God prepare us, Lord, for this season. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish. And their net net. You know that they didn't listen. They only got one net. I mean, you cannot give what you don't have. They only have one. I've been waiting for this season. I've prepared for this season. I'm not going to act like Peter. I'm ready for this season. You want to know how many bank accounts I have? You want to know how many bank accounts I have? I've been preparing for this season for so long. I've been waiting for this season for so long. I have so much account in America. I have accounts in Dubai. In Dubai, I have a corporate account. We have a corporate account. We have a personal account. And we have asset management account. With a big cup cereal. Can I talk to you? I've been preparing, but I don't have much money there. I don't have money there. <laughs> I'm serious. Jesse, go get my wallet. I will show you card. You're going to be shocked. I have an account in Ghana. In Ghana, I have Zenita. In Ghana, I have three account with Zenita. Now they call him. They said, there's a program you're working on. They say you have to have Stambik. I have Stambik in Zimbabwe. 
my director is opening something in a choir right now as I speak for you. I have an account in Nigeria. Man, so much account, but not much is there, but I'm expectant. I know that breakthrough is coming. Oh, God. Come on, somebody say nets. You got it. Nets. Come on, say nets. I am ready to throw down my nets. to go. Because when my season come, is higher. So keep it ready. Because I know I've been preparing for a day like this. When my story will change. I won't send $20. I will send $20 million. I won't send $5. I will send $5,000. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I got my nets. My nets are ready. They are ready to receive. Yeah. Yeah! 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 Not much there. You see, Stambik. Dr. Elizabeth, you see, Stambik? I got Stambik Zimbabwe. That's my nets. I have my nets. Not just one net. I'm prepared. I'm ready. When the master showed up, he said, it's time, Master Jesus. Put it in. Nets. Say nets. Say nets. Nets. See? Visa. Emirates NBD. There's no much there, but to God be the glory. I got it ready. Hey, I am prepared. What do you have? Net? You have a net? Are you prepared for this season? Are you prepared for what God is about to do? If you are prepared, shout amen. If you are prepared, shout hallelujah. If you are prepared, shout amen. If you are prepared, shout hallelujah. Okay, this one is a dollar debit. This is Ghana. And when they had done this, the only mistake they made, they threw net. Instead of what? Net. What God is about to give is more than what your account. It's more than you expected. Our God is a God that overflow. You see, and when they had done this, they caught what? A great number of fish and what? Their net. To contain them. Go to verse 7 and I will stop and I will stop. We'll continue another time, maybe So they seek you now to their party.
when the reason for overflow is not for you to keep everything. And your family. Even is for you to bless someone that sits beside you in church. And your extended family. God is looking for a conduit. That he will use to spread wealth. Abraham. God told Abraham. He said I will bless. And you will be a what? When breakthrough come. God don't just leave you for you and your family. All the one you've been getting is not a breakthrough. You will have enough to even give to your friends, to your extended family, and to your neighbor. They can tell them, come and see. Come and see. For the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord it's good to me. But if there's no overflow, they say, man, they're just making noise. This year is a year of manifestation. All the noise you'll be making, God, you will begin to back it up with blessing. Come on, somebody give me praise. Come on, somebody give me praise. Come on. Oh, let me finish. Can I finish? So they signal to their partners in the other boat to come. And they came and filled both the boats. And even so, it was not enough. And they began to sink because there was so much fish. Even though there was no fish, we serve a God that is a God of overflow. He's a God of abundance. And I declare, God will make all grace abound towards you. In this season, that you have all sufficient, so you can experience abundance in Jesus' name. Go to number eight, and I will stop. Oh God, I thank you. <laughs> I love this part. I love this part. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, "Depart." Depart from me. I'm a sinful man. That was a miracle. Because fish really was not there. They were at the shore. Peter went to the deep where he's supposed to get fish. He walked all night. There was no fish. He came down to a shallow end. And while he was speaking, even the fish recognized the voice of the master. While he was speaking, the fish showed from nowhere. From the deep to the shallow end. I truly believe, you know, if you're into fishing, okay, maybe fish are here too. There's some sea. You don't get, you get different fish. If you go to salt water, you get this kind of fish. You go to another fresh water, a different kind of sea. Actually, believe. Okay, I will stop. When Jesus, um, there's something somewhere I'm going here. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, said, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. What did he say? Oh, what? What did he say? But before he was not quiet enough. He called him master. But after that miracle, even his language changed. 
He said, oh Lord, not a master. He is the Lord. He is the Messiah. He is the creator. Something changed in him like what? You are not just a man. You are the Messiah. You are the Lord. Not a master. There's a lot of masters. But you are the Lord. You are the creator. You are the I am that I am. What? Oh God. Do I have time? You know what he saw there? He, he began, he, before he said master, that's humanity. But after the miracle, he began to speak about the deity of Jesus. He said, Lord. He said, go. I am unclean. I am a sinner. You are the Lord. In this season, God will change the way you talk. He will change the way you talk. He call him Lord. He said, this is something. Go tonight and I'm done. We will continue. Nine. So for he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. Go to ten. And so were James and John and were partner with Simon. Simon. But his name has changed. His name changed. From Simon to Peter. Because Simon is a hearer. But Peter is a what? A little stone. Remember when Jesus said, Who do people think I am? Everybody say everything. Listen to me. And Peter say what? Come on, talk to me, church. Come on, talk. You are the what? You are the what? You are the Christ, son of a living God. Then what Jesus tell him? You remember? Come on, talk to me, church. We are Bible-believing church. You should know that. He said, flesh and I have not revealed this to you. But my father, which are the one? Then what is he after that? Okay, we have a lot of preachers now. Watch this. He said, upon the confession. He said, thou art. And I'm sorry, the Catholic got it wrong. They started worshiping. He's talking about Peter. He's the founder of the church. Is that right? That's wrong. Because they don't have the Greek word, the meaning of what Jesus was saying. Jesus said, you are Peter. What is Peter. He said, but on the what? Upon the confession that Jesus is the son of the living God. That Jesus is the Messiah. So church is not built on a man. It's built on on Messiah. They miss that. Upon I gotta stop. Peter. Jesus said to him, Simon, Jesus said to him, Simon, do not be afraid. From now, I will stop. I will stop. Something changed. Peter actually discovered his purpose. His career was a fisherman. But his purpose is still a fisher. He said, I will make you a fisher of man.
Come on, somebody give him praise and glory. 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 Come on, somebody bless his holy name. Come on, somebody bless his holy name. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Mighty God, we thank you for this new season. I have declared it. Mighty God, you told me, you spoke to me to change my message and declare new beginning. New season. Father, I declare it in the name of Jesus upon this ministry and upon the members. New season of greatness. New season of an abundance and enlargement. New season of prosperity. New season of more so in this church. More so in this kingdom. New season of miracles, signs, and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it and I declare in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody shout amen. Come on, somebody shout amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I don't know about you, but there's a special. The state, the, I don't know, the only way I can describe it is that there's a haze in here. There's a haze in here. There's a there's an essence in here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You want to say hallelujah? It's good. You want to say I praise the Lord? It's good. Come on, come on. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna start with me. Y'all ain't gonna start with me. Amen. <laughs> Oh, God, there's such a sweet essence in this place, guys. Oh, my God. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm ready to. I'm ready to. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Meaning that maybe we'll have a little jam session after. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We love to praise in this house. We love to praise in this house. Right, Lady K? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh my God. Right, T. John. Amen. We like to praise in this house. Amen. All right. So, what we're going to do, hallelujah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come uh, uh, take offering and we're going to close. But then we're going to have a little, just a short little jab session after. Amen. 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 Uh, short. It's going to be short. <laughs> my own child. Mm. Amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You know, I just want to say, the Lord is just, just reminding me of the faithful one. The people who are just so faithful, faithful to his word, faithful to his teaching, faithful to him. Glory to God. There is some faithful folks that God is saying, glory to God. Hallelujah. In this season, oh my, 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 my. And guess what? It ain't too late if you have not been faithful in your tithes and your offerings. It's not too late. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the ones that are faithful, that's what he told me actually yesterday 
in our prayers and tell them the one that has faithful uh, is faithful to the faithful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> as Sister Juliet walk up with, with the offering, I never forget a testimony she gave me when she went to go buy a car. Glory to I can't forget it. I can't forget. Huh? Drove off the lot with it. Paid in full. Paid in full. Paid in full. Amen. Amen. Don't tell me. But she, she prepared to, to buy the car. But it so happened that it was bought by somebody else. I only hear three people saying amen. Amen. Glory to God. That's the God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us go ahead. Hallelujah. And again, we thank God. No, God is saying, I thank you, the ones, all of you, the ones that's been so faithful to me. Glory to God. You're the ones that's been faithful in your giving and your tithe, my God, into this house. This is a fruitful place. This is a fruitful land. This is a good land. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anyone needs an envelope? Amen. Good soil. Praise the Lord. Yes, brother. Good soil. Amen. Nobody needs, needs an envelope. Father, we just thank you for the ones, my God. Hallelujah. That just say, you know what? Nevertheless, no matter what happens, glory to God. I will remember my God with the sword of my brow. I will remember all of his goodness. I will remember what he has done. Oh, glory to God. And Father, the ones who say, you know what? Lord, I want to do the same. I don't have a job or I don't have my God, uh, 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 the means, uh, an income. Lord, I ask because that's the kind of God you are. Glory to God. He sees the desires of our hearts. And the desires are even for the ones that says, glory to God, I want to build your house. Oh, my God. I want to be a financier of the kingdom. Father, we ask that you will, my God, my God, increase them. My God, in the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. So, you follow the direction of Sister Juliet. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I, I sometimes more and more understand why, um, you know, God just really loves uh, music. He loves when we praise him. He loves how he can make a joyful noise. Glory to God. And the difference between music and noise is one is arranged. Music is arranged, noise is not. But he said, whatever it is, make a joyful noise. So if you just holler, praise you, Lord, he'll still receive it. Amen. He said, make a joyful noise. Noise. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. I got that revelation some years ago. That the difference between noise and music, one is arranged and one is not. God said, whatever you got, give it to me. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> oh my God, what an amazing word today. Oh my God. Somebody, better. come on, come on, people. Come on, people. Stand to your feet. My word, as we call, stand to your feet. We are about to give God, hallelujah, hallelujah, an amazing praise for his word. Can we give God an amazing praise in everything? Three minutes, somebody kick, help the clock. Uh, clock it for me, please. Three minutes. I need everything. I need everything. I need every voice. Amen. Now let's give my praise. You got to shout. Don't forget, shout. If you want to clap, if you want to stop your feet. I hear nobody making no noise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, 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 I will call on the name of the Lord, he is worthy to be praised, I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? I will. I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on, I will the, call name on the, the name of the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Who is worthy to be praised? I will. I will Come call on, on the name of the Lord. I will. Call on the name of the Lord. I will. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy? Who is worthy to be paid? Who is worthy to be praised? 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 Let's just shout, shout, shout. Let me hear you shout. Shout, shout, shout. Shout, shout. Shout, shout. Shout, shout. Oh, come on. 
for noise. Oh, my, 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 my. Glory to God. Well, I won't say all of it, but there's a, um, we, we are planning a concert, and it's no holds barred. Amen. We're going to praise our way into another realm. Amen. A concert is coming. It's being planned as we speak. If you know what I know, plan to be here. Because we're going to praise heaven on earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. I got two quick announcements for you. Um, one is, uh, the first one is, please people, um, at the extra book bag. We want the children to be just totally blessed. You see some pens, some, some crayons, whatever, and you just, you know, or you, you remember, just pick up some pencils, whatever, and you say, you know what, I, really, I don't have time, I really don't do a whole lot of shopping, but guess what? I can donate this amount, that amount. It, we want to bless the children, people. We want to bless the children. Amen. Amen. Um, um, it's not an easy feat, but we're going to do it. It's not cheap, but we're going to do it because we're bringing food as well. Amen. Glory to God. Just for the moon bounce and the cotton candy and the popcorn, it's $550. Amen. Glory to God. But God can. God can. Amen. Glory to God. And we know there's some big kids in here too that's going to come. Amen. Amen. So we just want to have an amazing time. Let the community know we're here. And, 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 and you know, we're going to go you know, kind of before, like a few days before door to door. Say, come on. We're having a, a big back to school batch. We want to um, have some um, prize, some um, uh, book bags that is stuffed with everything. And that's going to be, we're going to have two of those. Two or three of those. Just, and, and, and we're going to do a raffle. So, you know, and, and just put your name. Amen. And we're going to have food too. Yes, indeed. Amen, amen, amen. It's going to be an amazing day. So please, where, where, where do they send donation to for that? ELCC events is where the donation is going through to? To Cash App, yes. Amen. And if you say, well, I don't have Cash App, but I, I'll send it to the, our um, online uh, ELCC. Just indicate for, um, for back to school. Amen. And we'll be sure to put it to use for that. Amen. Please, guys, all of us, let's pitch in and make this an amazing time with the children. Amen. The big ones and the little ones and the food and the barbecue and the grill. Oh, oh, it's going to be good. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Also, we have the prayer line. And we want to continue to, uh, um, um, to encourage you to call the prayer line at noon. It's for one hour. Maybe if the Holy Ghost, you know, when the Holy Ghost moves, maybe one, one hour and 20 minutes. But it's rarely being over. It's one hour. And we have uh, uh, Pastor Reggie. We have uh, Minister Stephanie, Minister Jason. They're doing, doing. Let's come on, people. Come on and call the prayer line. We can get a prayer request. We can pray for a loved one. We can pray for lost soul. But I say, you got to call. Amen? The, 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 it's up there, right there. Praise the Lord. And we want to encourage you to call in. Amen? And this at this time, we, we uh, God has spoken some things. Glory to God over all of us. We may need somebody to touch and agree. Maybe you go to fill out an application. Glory to God. And let you know what? I just need to touch and agree. Come on, call the prayer line. It's there. Noon. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Amen. Amen. So let us call. There are people who are power packed, ready to pray with you. Amen. 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 And amen. Those are my two announcements. We're going to go ahead and close. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your power. We thank you even for all those books that you're turning 
so many chapters are opening up. I saw the multiple chapters that are turning for so many people all over this place. We are never, ever, ever. We will never take your word lightly. We will never take you lightly. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you said in this house that the Lord dwells. And we know that you dwell here. So Father, as they are about to depart, but never ever from your presence. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us all now and forever. And the saints of God say, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Greet somebody before you leave.